This is Bay Radio then, just gone, quarter past ten, mainland Spain, quarter past nine, UK and Eakin areas. So Tuesday morning we're at, 23rd of May today, and going to talk to Carlos, Carlos uh, Portina, uh, who is, actually I don't know where you are, good morning Carlos, how are you? Hi, hello, good morning. Whereabouts are you based? Uh, well, uh, now I am in Madrid, Right. Uh, flying, to, flying today to Valencia. Ah, okay. Uh, but but I'm originally from Portugal. I'm a, I'm a Portuguese guy. Okay. Now we're talking uh, Inspiria, the group. Um, you are the group medical director for this. I've been teasing this up a couple of times. Uh, the hair company, it says. It doesn't really use the word clinic because just, just tell us about what you do there and give us some idea. Okay. I, um, I am the chief clinical officer of the group. So uh, I'm the leader of the clinical area, uh, being it uh, the air transplants, the alopecia treatments, like mesotherapy, like uh, BRP and, and some others. And I'm also the leader of our research group because we are uh, the, on- the only clinical group in this area, operating in this area, that has its own uh, research center which is divided in, a, in, a, in, two, in two branches, the, te- the technology and the biomedical, which is, which is amazing. <laughs> gotcha. No, t- I see uh, 10 clinics within the group there and a pretty well-known co-founder of the group. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, uh, we started like 14 years ago in Portugal. Um, and uh, when we, well, uh, and in Portugal, we, we did air transplants to lots, lots, lots of uh, football players, very well-known football players, national and international. And so uh, our, our partner, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, hmm. uh, he knew us and he wanted to know about us. He was, uh, he was willing to, to invest in... Uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the health uh, sector and uh, he visited us. He already had very good, uh, um, or should I say, very good uh, impressions about us uh, coming from uh, from his colleagues and, uh, and friends that, uh, that he knew that he did, uh, the, they had transferred with us. So he came and visited us. Uh, this was, there was a big coincidence because uh, we were uh, uh, preparing our expansion, our international expansion, because we only we were, were only in Portugal, and yeah. uh, so so we entered the group. He's he's our partner, mm-hmm. uh, and we start we started the, the the expansion. We we changed the name to Inspiria. We had another name, a Portuguese name. It wouldn't be readable <laughs> anywhere else but Portugal. Sure. Yeah, so yeah. so. So we had to, to change the, the name and created the brand Inspiria, which comes from inspiration. Yes. And inspiration in inspiration in growing, inspiration in doing everything well, in in um, uh, bringing the best to to this to this area. Mm. Uh, and that, that's what we do. Yeah, they, they did offer us uh, Cristiano to talk to, and I said, no, no, I want to speak to Carlos. The group, we'll go straight to the yeah, top sure. of the group medical director <laughs> for Inspiria. Uh, so in Spain then with the clinics, and this used to be, I mean, footballers have been the example. I mean, I, by the way, I played Elton John just a few minutes ago, and he's a, uh, a definite early example of people having work done uh, as far as hair transplants yeah. go. But famously, um, Wayne Rooney, uh, you know of him, he had um, yeah, yeah, yeah. that work done. It seemed to look pretty good. So, and it does these days, doesn't it? It works really well because you, because you're not it's, yeah, it's, it's not like a wig. It's not something you're sticking on. It's, just no, tell us about no, the process, no. how it works, because you're using their real hair. Yeah, I, I believe I believe Rooney will be even better if he if he did their transplant with us. But well, he yeah, didn't. sure. <laughs> 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 no, but yeah, transplant is uh, is very complex. Uh, uh, um, what I mean with this is complex and simple. It's complex because because it it, it needs to be done by people that do it very well that are very well trained uh, you need to to have it done with uh, the best technology in the market but at the end it is very simple our hair on the on the on the laterals and on the occipital area the the, the back side is different from the air we have at the top the mm. people that suffer from uh, from androgenic alopecia uh, they they get bald because the hair um, um, ages faster so it starts uh, getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and then it stops growing. But the air from the sides and the back of uh, of our of our head of our scalp uh, has a different uh, genetic information, so it doesn't age this fast. And that's this this difference. It's it's what we uh, um, we we take advantage of this difference. So we transplant the air 
the, the air follicles from this area, which we call the donor area, mm -hmm. to the recipient area. And we do it one by one. That's why it's called FUE, follicular unit extraction. Right. Because we extract one follicular unit by, by one follicular unit. Wow. And then we implant it. Of course, how you do it and the expertise of the people who, who, who do this uh, makes a big difference uh, on, the, on, the, on the results you have. Because you have, uh, I, I won't say names of the ones, of the famous ones that have bad their transplants, but you have several, several famous people uh, who have uh, air transplants and have uh, uh, a bad result. And then you have amazing results like uh, Mark Terstegen, like Pinsolio, uh, like so many, so many football players uh, to whom we did, we did the air transplant. Yes, I mean, and, uh, sorry, I was yeah, going to yeah, say, yeah, no, a, fr a friend of mine had it done. I'm not sure if it was with you or not. Um, he went to Madrid and he's very young. So it's, it's, it's a psychological thing, isn't it? It's not just a vanity project for some people just because oh, no, they start to lose their hairs. But yeah, if, no. if you are young and it's, you're really losing your hair, then it's, um, yeah. it has a real effect on you. Yeah, it's uh, losing hair when you're, you are young or old. It depends on you. Uh, it affects your self-esteem. So it's psychological. Uh, in some people, some people suffer from depression uh, for losing their hair, and you can't control it. It's not, it's not a vanity thing, as you, as you say. But there is another, another very important aspect that I always talk to my patients and in in the interviews also, which is the hair is a protection for the scalp. Yeah, sure. If you don't have, if you don't have hair, and if you live in countries like Portugal, like Spain. With uh, with all the sun we have, with with the sun uh, exposure that we have, uh, you, if you don't have hair protecting your scalp, you 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 will have uh, sun damages, and some of these sun damages they can turn into a cancer, mm -hmm. into a malignant cancer. So when you do a hair transplant, you 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 give back some <laughs> some the protection you lost uh, during the, the alopecia process. Yes. So it's not, it's not vanity, it's not aesthetic, it's way more than that, way more than that. It's protection, it's prevention, it's health prevention, which is very important uh, these days. Uh, and it is, of course, also helping to, to treat uh, some self-esteem problems, some, uh, some depression problems. So it's way more than uh, than just uh, vanity. Sure. That's why it should it should be taken seriously. And when you choose the clinic where to do it, you should be aware. You should know where you do it. Not going somewhere, taking a plane. You know what I mean? And go and going to do to do an air transplant as if it is uh, going and have a beer with a friend. No, it's not the same. It's, yes, uh, it's yes. something that you should think about it sure uh, is it available to everyone are, is, are there exceptions does someone turn up and you say look we can't do this because um, is no, it course, uh, well, well uh, um, of course there, there are some country uh, some uh, how do you say in, in English uh, some uh, non indications for the air transplant some some kinds of alopecia uh, where you can't do the the, the air transplant for instance if you have a frontal fibrosis, frontal fibrosis, alopecia, well, I'll say strange names, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if, yeah. if you have uh, a lichen, a plano pilaris lichen, you can do it. If you have an areata, which is uh, people know better, the, the areata alopecia, uh, there's no indication for, for, for their transplant. But if you have, uh, uh, for instance, a scar alopecia after, after a burning, and if the skin supports the, the receiving the the grafts uh there is an indication if you have uh, androgenic alopecia there is an indication so most of alopecias have an indication for a transplant sure. then of course you people talk about you didn't you didn't you didn't talk about it but people talk a lot about uh, the economic factor and uh, um of course uh, a good procedure done by by experts can be cheap, but it's not so expensive. So, and uh, in Ishpari, we also uh, work with some uh, with some companies that uh, allow you to pay your transplant each month monthly. So. Uh, if you want to do it, you can do it. There, there's no, no no excuse. Well, it's one of those things that uh, if someone's you know desperate to get it done, they will just do whatever, and that's where the money will go. What the money will go on? Um, what? Do, yeah, yeah. You, I mean, you're talking about as you say, these uh, moving the follicles one by one. How long does that take? How long are we talking about? I suppose it depends how much you've got to do. But is it a long, a long process? Well, it. Uh 
In Ishtar, it's not so long because uh, with uh, with our new technology, we we just launched a new technology, uh, which was developed in our in our technological center, which is called Botair Ultra Plus. And this device, it not only uh, helps the the doctors to to make the, the excision, the extraction of the follicular unit, it aspirates the follicular unit, it storages the follicular units in a um, in a container with uh, with a, um, a preservation solution uh, under controlled uh, temperature uh, and then uh, this device has also um, uh, two other devices which one to to do the incisions to 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 receive the follicular unit and another which is a multi-implanter that allows uh, the the the, um, the doctors and nurses to implant uh, 25 follicles with just one movement, which oh, is amazing. Wow! Yeah, that's yeah, something. yeah. Wow. So, so with this with this technology, uh, with with our trained uh, 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 teams, uh, we take about one and a half to two hours for extraction. We're talking about more than 4,000 follicular units, okay? Uh, which is amazing. 4,000 follicular units is around uh, 8,000 to 12,000 hair, new hair. Wow. Uh, okay. So, so this, take, this takes maximum two hours to extract and two and a half hours to, to implant. So this would be done. So, in, it, this would be done in one visit. They don't need to keep coming back. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah. The, the, the patients arrive around 8:30, and uh, if everything goes well, with no with no delays. Around 4 p.m., people are going home happy and with new yeah. hair. So, so yeah. it's, it's not it's it's not a long, long, long uh, procedure. Yeah, you've sent me a very useful list of questions here. Or somebody has, um, and some of the basic ones like, does it hurt? <laughs> is, is it a painful procedure having that done? Well, after after the the local anesthesia, it is not. Okay. Of course, uh, if you, if you go to the dentist, you have to to have the anesthesia, so you feel you feel the 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 first injection after that you don't feel anything in air transplant is the same mm -hmm. uh, we can say it's uh, you don't feel any pain because you you will need the the the, the, the anesthesia after that you you feel nothing sure and um, what about I mean anyone since we've been talking about this would picture a man you know being performed on a male we're talking about footballers and the like um, yeah. is, is it only for men this treatment. No, no, of course not. Mm. Of course, androgenic alopecia affects more men than women, but uh, it's both for men and women. Uh, uh, in uh, um, in women patients, we we should be care about other things because in some female patients, uh, uh, the, the androgenic alopecia is, has not the same distribution as it has in in uh, in, uh, in male patients. Because in some some of the females, they they, they some females they have uh, uh, these uh, follicular units uh, with, the, with genetic information to fall. They sometimes they are mixed in the donor area, mm. so you should know it. So you should be aware of it, and only perform an air transplant when uh, when it is indicated. But yeah, you we we do both men and women air transplants. We do also. Eyebrow uh, transplant, uh -huh. beard, beard transplant. So, uh, yeah, it's not only male uh, air transplant to uh, what we can do. That'd be a thing as well, because um, obviously beards, um, it's, it's become a, a big thing. I was trying to sport one myself. Not everyone has um, a full, luxuriant beard. Uh, there will be patchy uh, bits. You can, I suppose you can um, touch that up so that it's all even and, you know, it takes up the, the sort of areas where there's hairs missing. You could make it very neat. If that, that is a vanity thing, I suppose. Yeah. But is that, is that the sort of thing you can do as well? Yeah, we can do it, of course. Yeah. And it's in, and, and it, in that case, it's different. It's... Uh, it's an aesthetic thing because yeah. there's no no advantage on having uh, hair on the face. So it's uh, it's an aesthetic thing. That's why uh, this is interesting. Uh, the hair transplant has no VAT, and the hair trans the beard transplant has VAT oh, because wow. it is only aesthetic. And this is important. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's interesting. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, and well, no, what yeah. I was going to say, so you're you're taking these follicles from an area where there's you know plenty of hair there. Does that area recover? Uh, does it um, is that damage for, for for good or does it uh, sort of repair itself if you like? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say damaged. Okay, it can be damaged if if the air transfer is not well done. If <laughs> you have an over harvesting, for for instance, but uh, no, it doesn't it doesn't recover. It's a transplant. So you transplant. You take 
the graft from one side to the other. It's like doing a kidney transplant. If you if you are a donor of a kidney, you lose your kidney. Sure. And, you, and, and, you, and you keep one. So it's exactly the same. Okay. When we transplant, when we transplant, we transplant the whole follicular unit. So in that small place, which is very, very small, uh, in that small place, there won't grow any, any new air. So that's another reason why you should do, uh, you should, should undergo an air transplant in a certified clinic where you know what people do when where you know that people are uh, uh, experts on this because one of the problems i i see so many times uh, is is patients coming from one country i won't say the name mm -hmm. and they come with over harvest uh, donor areas so to 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 have new hair in the rec recipient area you get uh, damage or destroyed on air, and that's and that's awful. Sure. And then the, the hair that's been transplanted is that that's permanent. Then it's not going to just last for a few years. That, that, that that'll that's there, is it for good? Or yeah, it is. It, uh, at least with with uh, with a human being living till I don't know one hundred years, it is permanent. We don't know that uh, if sometime we live uh, like three hundred years. Uh, we yeah, don't know sure. if the, the, the <laughs> if if we'll have enough air cycles uh, to have air all the time. But regarding the life expectancy of a, of, a, of an average human being, yeah, it's for life. Yeah, sure, it's but for, it, it's not like um, as long. I mean, I mean, people have their, their teeth done, and that that lasts just for a few years, and they have to have them redone. But this is this is you know no, no, in no, there. No. It's not going to no. fall out after a number of number of years. No, no, no. Okay. No. Uh, if the air transplant is well done. Over 90 to 95 percent of the liquid units transplanted will uh, will will uh, raise new hair, and uh, so and it it will last for all your life. As the as the the the, the air that you don't touch in the donor area, it's exactly the same. You just move it from from place, but it keeps all the genetics, all the the. Uh, durability let's say, let's say like this that oh. uh, that the original one had yeah um and presumably there'll be the initial consultation where what sort of questions will you ask you know if someone comes along well, and have this done yeah yeah we in inspire we have a free consultation absolutely free no, nothing nothing hidden there absolutely free a consultation with with a clinical consultant and a medical doctor where we do the diagnosis. Uh, usually, the diagnosis is clinical, purely clinical. So you don't need any any blood test done. You don't need the, nothing special. We we always use trichoscopy to to evaluate. Trichoscopy is like magnifying the scalp uh, with a, with a device, and we we see the pictures on, on computer. And it is very important to evaluate not only the recipient but also the the donor area. And uh, after this evaluation, we, we propose the best treatments for, for the patient. Mm. I bet you, do, did you draw on them? Did you draw the sort of hairline, how it's, you know, what it's intended yeah, what it's yeah, going yeah. to be? Yeah, <laughs> I can picture yeah, that. In the yeah. In the yeah, yeah, because it also, it, it's the first time where we create the, the, the first idea how the patient will get at the end. So it's very important to draw the line at the first, at the first consultation. So the patient fully understands what uh, what is receiving and what what we can do for for them but mo most important is uh, the also this consultation being done for for someone who knows what what they're doing and uh, and to, to propose the patient what he can receive because the worst thing is uh, having the expectations too high and because uh, we have limitations, all the patients have their limitations, limitations on donor area, limitations on the on the, the type of, of alopecia they have. So it's very important that this is done in clinics where people don't sell for selling, where people propose proper treatments to the patient. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then once, once they've had it done, you'll provide all the aftercare and all the information and what they can and can't do and yeah. how long before they can yeah. do, do something again. Um, so the, it was interesting to find out that it, this is a medical thing. So it's, as you say, VAT free, EVA free for the hair mm -hmm. on your head um, because it's, yeah, it's a necessity. Fascinating. All right, so um, what's the best way to get in touch? I mean, the group uh, website. Inspire.com, Inspire.es, or in Portugal, Inspire dot pt or dot or dot it you know, yeah. if you are in italy but well if you use the in portugal in, in spain we are in spain so the dot es we yes. have all the information 
where, where you can also uh, understand uh, that Inspiria, as I told at the beginning of our of our nice talk, uh, Inspiria is not only a clinical group. We are uh, the the most advanced technolo technological group in this area because we have the the the, the research center, the Inspiria Science and Clinical Institute, which is based in uh, in Porto. Um, in Porto, Portugal, mm -hmm. where you can have a very good port wine, <laughs> yeah, nice. and uh, and uh, where we where we where we perform um, these these research, being it technological and biomedical, uh, both researches we we do it uh, uh, with uh, with very important universities. In the technological area, our main aim is to develop a, a robot that will do the whole transplant uh, with assistance of a doctor, mm. but will do the whole transplant from extraction to, to implantation uh, of the of the air graft. And in the biomedical area, our main goal is that is uh, multiplying the follicular units in lab. Uh, like I don't like to to use this uh, the, this word, but uh, for people to understand more or less to clone the the air follicles and this way imagine now for transplanting 4000 follicular units i have to harvest 4000 follicular units imagine imagine if i can harvest like 100 follicular units and multiply it in in lab and uh, and getting uh, like 10000 follicular units it would be amazing fascinating uh, well, there's the future yeah. just so, but running out of time carlos so sorry to interrupt you but yeah, uh, <laughs> thanks ever so much uh, it's been fascinating uh, and i'll just spell the website out so inspire so it's i n s p a r y a y a dot com will get you there and you'll be able to get it in english thank you for your time and um, well, thank you. hopefully speak thank to you again much. soon okay. pleasure. thank you this is bay radio just about 2211 mainland spain 10 uk and the canaries <laughs> Bayradio.fm